Hello, in today's video we're going to be talking about wine and the wine press and grapes and the symbolism of it all. So in Revelation 14, beginning in verse 14, I looked, and there before me was a white cloud, and seated in the cloud was one like a son of man with a crown of gold on his head and a sharp sickle in his hand. Then another angel came out of the temple and called in a loud voice to him who was sitting on the cloud, Take your sickle and reap, because the time has come. For the harvest of the earth is ripe. So he who was seated in the clouds swung his sickle over the earth, and the earth was harvested. Another angel came out of the temple in heaven, and he too had a sharp sickle. Still another angel who had charge of the fire came from the altar and called in a loud voice to him who had a sharp sickle. Take your sharp sickle and gather the clusters of grapes from the earth's vine, because its grapes are ripe. The angel swung his sickle on the earth, gathered his grapes, and threw them into the wine press of God's wrath. They were trampled in the wine press outside the city, and blood flowed out of the press. Stay tuned for part two. So in the last verse, verse twenty, they were trampled in the wine press outside the city, and blood flowed out of the press, rising as high as the horses' bridles for a distance of sixteen hundred stadia, or about one hundred and eighty miles or three hundred kilometers. So what is happening here? The unrighteous are described as the grapes, and they're going to be harvested and gathered, thrown into a great wine press of God's wrath, and trampled, and blood flows out of that press. Okay, so just as um, wine is produced by trampling grapes, by squishing grapes, and wine flows out of that, the unrighteous are also going to be trampled um, at the end of time, and blood is going to flow out of that press, signifying that they're going to be tortured, they're going to be destroyed, and this blood is going to rise high, it's going to be a very bloody scene at the end of times. So this is very another um, piece of imagery that is very interesting and also very gory.